Hey y'all, what's going on? It's your girl, Maya Desire, and I'm back with another episode review of Our Kind of People. It feels like it's been so long. This is episode titled Just Dessert. So let's jump right in. In the opening scene, we have Jojo, Angie, and Nate enjoying a very family, you know, day is what it seems like. And I love to see it because I know that Nate has been struggling after being a black man coming out of jail, you know, a second chance. This is amazing to see him being welcomed home. And we know he's been here for a little while now, um, but this dynamic is really beautiful. Of course, Auntie Peggy comes in and she looks a little bit disturbed when she talks to Angie and she's letting her know that she has to come clean with Tyreek because she knows that it's eating at him and it's definitely eating at her, you know, holding all these secrets. And so it's time to let them go. Uh, which, you know, rightfully so, we understand. Of course, you know, Angie responds with her violent self, right? JK, JK. Um, but she really wants to give Teddy a piece of her mind. And Aunt Peggy is like, no, so it's like, chill. Let this, you know, play out like it's going to. And in order to get, you know, to take the head off a snake, you got to get close enough to put your damn foot on his neck. So don't go doing anything stupid. And what does she do? She go on and do something stupid, right? Because now she's spazzing out on Teddy at the, the mingle mixer. And uh, it looks crazy. It looks weird. We're trying to figure out, like, what's going on here, sis? I was not happy about that. Like, come on, Angie. Get it together. The incubator program is on the line. Your endorsement is on the line. Like, you need this money, sis. Not by any means necessary, but nonetheless, you need the money, right? And of course, Teddy being his sneaky old self is allowing Tyreek to pitch the stadium idea. And it's going really well. He loves it. The board seems to love it. But then Teddy turns around and asks that man for a favor because, of course, he wants Tyreek to go and retrieve the papers uh, from Jack or that Jack had that are now at the precinct, you know. And so come on, Teddy, like cut it out. And Tyreek wake up like what is this man feeding you like come on you gotta smell the roses by now and figure out that this is all a sham anyway you know of course Tariq doesn't really have much of a choice and he decides to do the bidding for Teddy and so of course you know afterwards we see Leah pop up over at Angie's to figure out like hey says what's going on like you snapped a little bit earlier I'm trying to figure out what you got is it everything cool and of course she shares that she got some family stuff going on, but she's not really trying to be too honest because this is, you know, her and Leah have gotten close. And so this is, this can make or break a situation. And she decides to say it anyway. She says that, Hey, I think Teddy is hiding something. And, um, I really want to know what it is. Of course, Leah, oh Leah, um, she's like, well, what could it possibly be? My dad is the best, right? Like, come on, sis, we know damn well that your daddy got some shit with him, all right? And so, of course, it is what it is. So, furthermore, you know, I just think that to, to have this dynamic between the two sisters, it's just it's going to put a strain on the relationship and eventually somebody's going to break and we're, we'll get to that at the end of the episode. Of course, Tyreek, you know, Auntie Peggy uh, brings over Tyreek and she comes clean. She's, you know, being honest about how she was holding on to her demons and she wasn't ready to let go yet. And we all understand that, but she's telling him that you know your dad was a really good guy and he would never do anything like that unless something of course is weighing on him heavy and that she knows for a fact that teddy had you know him doing some bidding some of his dirty work and so it's not surprising that you know Tariq is feeling the way he feels because he feels betrayed by Teddy. He feels like this man has done so much for me, but yet put me, put my dad in a bad predicament, in a bad space. Like, what is that about? Like, but again, this is Teddy we talking about, y'all, right? So like this, we, I don't put anything past him. And right now he is just a monster. He's the devil himself at this point. Now... Of course, you know, um, Raymond ma makes an appointment with the police chief and, you know, he's trying to ask questions because he really wants to get to this paperwork, right? He really wants to get to the paperwork that Jack has left on his person. And um, the chief is like, well, you know, Teddy's lawyer people are already here. So that's going to be a strong no. And then he's talking about how there's a sense of a woman lingering in the room and that they think that it was, you know, three glasses and not two and that a woman was there. And Raymond decides to throw some uh, shade, you know, in, at Jack. 
and says that Jack likes to hire escorts um, because he's still covering up for his mama who was there who actually murdered him, right? Now, I don't even know why. I mean, of course, I know why he's covering up for his mom, but for real though, like, for real, like, that's what we doing, for real. All right, fine, whatever. His mama is a trip, y'all, like, for real. Just a little bit of a trip. Now, in the midst of all this happening, Tyreek, you know, has grabbed the papers and he's having a mini panic attack because he's having a flashback memory of being at that hospital uh, when his dad passed away. And Raymond is there, so offers him some water. Um, you know, he's trying to calm him down. He calms. And then they have a, a serious conversation, man to man. And Tariq says, like, yo, like, um, I knew you was here for something. Because, of course, Raymond goes on to tell him, like, those papers, like, those papers, I need those because Teddy is trying to take me out, right? And um, he says that, uh, basically, I knew you hadn't changed, right? So Tariq goes, of course you haven't changed like one bit. You're only here because you need these papers. You're only talking to me because you need these papers. It's the same dude that you were uh, when we were at boarding school and goes into this whole spill about how it was only a handful of black students there and he couldn't have cared less about what was going on with Tariq. And you know, Raymond has to come to grips that he was kind of, kind of a jerk. Um, and, uh, you know, Tariq is like, man, yo, whatever. Like, I'm out of here. And, uh, you only care about yourself, basically. So, of course, Raymond decides that he's uh, he, he tells Leah about what's happening. He tells her about Teddy and even goes down to say that he was wrong about how he treated Tyreek, of course. But then that, you know, her daddy ain't shit, basically. But Leah is not having it. Like, well, what would my dad do? He wouldn't do that to me. He wouldn't do that to family. And, and Raymond is like, you might want to ask your mama about that. Now, we all know that. Her mother is not doing well, so it's very hard to ask these kind of questions. But I believe that it's absolutely necessary that she figures out, it out and gets to the bottom of this. Because, sis, he's willing to take out this other girl. Why would he not be willing at some point to take you out? Of course, she goes snooping around. She goes trying to talk to her mom. And, you know, she... Uh, ask her mother questions where her mom starts to basically have an episode and she can't really get much of anything out of her. And uh, Teddy decides to come in, intervene per as usual, right? And uh, he says that, you know, what's, what are you doing anyway? Like, why are you asking all these questions? And she goes, I just want to figure out what happened to Angie's mom. Like, she deserves that. She deserves the truth. And apparently... Teddy is not having it. And he says, I thought that inviting her into the family with open arms will help her no longer try to go looking for things that, you know, were of the past, but it looks like that can't happen. So you need to take her out or else I will. Now, I really thought for a second, y'all, that Leah was going to give him a piece of her mind. But again, Leah is daddy's little girl. And so it is what it is. Auntie Peggy has decided she's going to turn herself in. Angie says, think about it. Please let, you know, please just, what will this do to JoJo? Like, how it, will she feel? And the past of the past, let's move forward. And so, of course, you know, she says that she'll sit on it. But I already knew Auntie Peggy was not going to be doing any of that. But I was just going to wait and see. And um, she, you know, goes to the cotillion and, um, or not the cotillion, but she goes to the, this is the final, the final uh what is this called it's <laughs> it's this is the final decision day basically this is decision day and um she's here um and they are of course showcasing their desserts and uh raymond's mom because i don't i can't remember her name but raymond's mom is asking you know like well what is your dessert and she goes you know, she's, of course, nitpicking with her, right? And Angie says, well, she didn't have any family recipes that were handed down to her, so she created her own based on the three ingredients that her mom always used. And it turns out to be amazing, like amazing, amazing, because, well, she liked it and she had to roll her eyes because she wanted to hate it so bad. But when something good hits your tongue, you can't help but to really enjoy it and like it and say something nice. I mean, well, unless you're really, really better, then, of course, you could, right? And, um... 
But her, you know, Raymond's mom was being an ass the whole entire episode, right? She's coming over to, to Raymond, telling him like, "Is he? Did he get the paperwork? And this would have never happened." And that she intentionally murdered Jack, which I'm not. I mean, I'm not surprised. Are you? Because really and truly, not. Yeah, not surprised one bit. So, um, again, like I said, she, you know, at this point, Raymond has put his foot down, and I love to see it because. Uh, yeah, about time, because she was talking to you like you were a little boy, and we not having it, okay? We will not have it. Um, so, of course, um, like I said, we go back to the decision day, and, um, you know, all the women are getting black spoons, pink spoons, and the pink spoons mean that you have been accepted, that you are a gracity, you know? Um, but right before that, Angie tells Leah, like, hey, I'm not going to stop looking for what happens to my mom. Like, she deserves that. Like, I'll turn over every stone if I have to. And of course, like I said, I knew that that was it. She had basically, she triggered what Teddy had told Leah earlier, which was, you need to take her out or I will. And unfortunately and sadly, Leah sinks, you know, uh, Angie's opportunity at the incubator program, the Gracities, the funding, all of it, based on her dad. It was really sad to see because, you know, you thought for a second there that they had developed a real sister bond and that it was going to be something better than what it's looking like it's going to turn out to be, right? And so, of course, Angie leaves. She's upset. Um, Tariq, you know, comes over and talks to her, tells her that he's dealing with his anger, that he's sorry, and that he, you know, has time to make up, but he's dealing with things better, um, and he wants to be there for her, you know, and she accepts, um, but of course, she's had a heavy day, a long day, so she's got some stuff to, to, to deal with, and um, goes inside to find Nate um, and realizes that, she, you know, Auntie Peggy has left a letter, and that she has turned herself in because she knew that Angie would try to talk her out of it. So she left. And then we see Leah crying to Raymond. And um, because she's screwed over her sister, I, I'm, I'm assuming that's how she feels. While Raymond is burning the page that Teddy needs in order to take over the rest of his company. So... I'm really saddened, to be quite honest, because I just didn't see it going that way. I just really had hoped that Leah would have taken Angie's side and would see that her dad was manipulating the situation. If this wasn't manipulation, like, I don't know what this is. Like, I'm, I'm just... So I'm here for it. I'm literally at the edge of my seats. How many more episodes do we have? Because this is crazy, and I just didn't see it coming, so... Till next time, guys, leave me your thoughts. Leave me your comments. Let me know what you think. And who are you rooting for? And how do you feel? How does this episode make you feel? Because I feel some kind of way about it. And I'm a little hurt. I'm a little hurt. So we'll see what happens next time. And until then, you know how to find me. And you know what to watch and where to watch it. Our kind of people, Tuesdays on Fox. Peace.